Hello friends, today I'm going to show you advanced custom waveform design in a GBT player or more to GBT. So you can use this in your GB Studio project or uh, in GBDK or ZGB or whatever as long as you use the GBT player. Um, to show you how this works, we're going to use GB Studio version 5, ah, version 2, beta 5 today, uh, OpenMPT uh, and BGB as a game emulator. I will use LSTJ as well to preview the waveforms because it has a very good preview function and a Notepad++ for text editing. Uh, I will link everything in the description in case you need something of this. So first we're going to look at uh, GB Studio. I already opened the project. I uh, want to change the waveforms. And um, so we're going to uh, game advanced and eject engine so you can click on eject and I already did this so uh, it asked me to replace the engine uh, I will do this of course to show you how this works so it will send you directly to your um, to your uh, project uh, folder and uh, in the assets uh, engine folder you can find uh, the source src and core and if you scroll down a little there should be the gvt player bank 1.s uh, we open this <coughs> and uh, if we scroll down a little bit we will see this section here which says gvt wave and it's eight sounds these are the eight wave sounds waveform sounds the eight instruments you can use in the third channel of your tracker. So in OpenMPT this would be channel 3 here and you usually have uh, instruments 8 to 15 uh, that you can use and that would stay the same. So, But what you can do is you can change the waveforms of every instrument. So this is instrument number um, 8 here, this is number 9 and so on and this will be number 15. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you not even how to change it. How to change is easy. You just change the digits and save it. But also how this works. So uh, you should need to know like um, the basics of tracking already if you want to follow this tutorial. Uh, so if you don't do so, I recommend watching something beginner friendly first and then come back to this video. Um, so yeah, basically eject the engine and then you can change it here. If you don't use uh, GB Studio 2 Beta 5 and use the usual version of GBT Player, you can also change the noise um, sounds here in this uh, section. Uh, but you won't have to do this in uh, GB Studio 2 because uh, this is already um, uh, hacked by rules and uh, you can access every uh, node possible in the noise channel without changing these values. <coughs> so okay, uh, first we're going to talk about basic waveforms. So I prepared a little bit in LSTJ. The good thing here is like that we can preview the waveform and it would show us the hexadecimal uh, digits. So. Basically what you see here is a square wave, also known as a pulse wave, 50%. <clears throat> so uh, we already have this in the usual instruments. Uh, it's instrument number 14, here square, 50%. Um, and as you can see in LSDJ, it's half the time the highest uh, possible amount and half the time the lowest. So you have a perfect square wave and this if you play this this would like continue like this on and on forever so this will basically loop so it's called square wave because it's like two squares and um, you see here it's 16 times f and then it goes on here it's 16 times 0 f is the highest possible uh, value uh, for Game Boy and zero is the lowest. So you can see if I change the uh, the pixel here, it will change the value uh, for the pixel. 
So that's a very nice preview option. That's why I want to use this. And also we can listen to this uh, very easily. <clears throat> so you can find this here, as I told you before, uh, instrument 14. And you see here OX stands for hexadecimal. And then it's like FF, 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 FF. So it's 16 times F and then it's 16 times zero. So we have the exact same thing here. So I will play the waveform for you. Uh, this is waveform zero, and I will just play it as uh, note C4, so you can hear it. So this is the basic square wave, and um, I first want to show you like the three basic waveforms. Uh, this is the square wave, and this is also the 12.5% pulse and the 25% uh, pulse wave. Uh, so we have these three waves um, in channel one and two usually. So you could have the exact same sound in uh, channel three as well. So if you want to do some chord things or something like that, that might be handy. So, um, yeah, so this is 50%. Of course, 25% will just uh, have the highest digit um, uh, eight times and then 24 times zero and this of course will only have it four times and then uh, the rest will be zeros <coughs> so if you get this we can get to the next step but I want to show you once again how these waveforms sound so you should know the sound from the other channels this is now the 12.5 uh, 25 and 50 percent playing after another Yeah, so that's it. That's a very basic. So what can we do uh, from from here? Um, I will explain most of the things with the square wave because I think the square wave is the easiest to understand, uh, especially when we like change a lot. So usually we have three volume control settings uh, for the third channel, but we can have more than eight volume control steps. Uh, if we change the waveforms. So if you lower the highest digit by one and uh, upper the lowest digit by one, so it will look like this. This will be a little bit uh, lower in volume if you play it. And you can do this, um, you can squash the waveform uh, vertically um, even further. So it will look like this. And uh, this will be the lowest possible setting before nothing is played. So uh, what you see here is like a square wave, but in different volume settings. So um, if you want to know how the digits are, if you can't get your head around, you can always press pause, of course, and uh, just type it into your um, uh, player bank one um, uh, text here. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you this, how this sounds. Uh, so whoop. Uh, where it is? Here it is. So this is now all the waveforms I showed you. These are eight uh, different volume setting types. But you can use the usual volume setting as well, of course. So you have more than eight volumes, but this would show you very, very, uh, very good. Okay, so now you know how to change um, volume in the waveform itself. So, but we don't only have volume control, we have uh, something else as well. But uh, I want to dig a little bit deeper into volume control first. So, of course, this doesn't only work for uh, the square wave. This would work for, like, let's say this is a saw wave. So it's going up from F to zero. And... Um, so it would be F, F, E, E, D, D, C, C, and so on, till it reaches zero. And of course you would, oops, you would type it in here like uh, this, F, F, E, E, D, D, C, C, B, B, and so on. So it is already here, of course, but it's not a triangular wave, it's a saw wave, so this is actually wrong. So I will save it. <coughs> Uh, the triangular wave is kind of the sine, which is very similar to the sine wave that we have here in place 15. We will come to this as well. 
So we have this, we could lower the volume and we have like two ways for it. We can cut it off like a limiter, so just cut off the top and the bottom, like this. It would get um, two steps lower in volume. Or we could, uh, of course we could also lower this even further or whatever, on both sides of course. Um, is it now? Yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, or we could like squash it and not cut it off so it would uh, look like this. So, but there we have, we don't have so much settings, so it's harder to get eight different volume settings, but uh, usually this one even sounds better. Uh, the cutoff version, I will show you how this sounds. So I stored this as waveform B, C and D, so I can, I didn't prepare this, so, but I can show you here. Um, let's go for waveform B. This is the square, uh, the saw wave, sorry. We have a tiny preview here in the uh, on the right side to see kind of what the waveform looks like. Uh, looks like that I'm playing, and this is the cutoff version. Going back again, you see it's a little bit lower in volume, but it also loses some of the high sounds of the these fuzzy sounds. So it's not 100% identical. But if you mix it with other sounds, usually you won't recognize it at all. And it's the same if you just change the volume in the channel uh, the regular way. So, yeah. And I have the other uh, method, so I will play them all. This sounds a little bit different as well. So, yeah, you can do this to... Uh, to any waveform, of course, uh, here's the uh, the triangular wave, and also a cutoff and a stretched version. I will play this for you as well. Um, this is the triangle wave. It's such a clean sound. It's such a good instrument. And cutoff and stretched. You see the sound changes a bit, but it's not too bad. So, yeah, basically that's how you change the volumes. So you have these different options for every possible wave. Um, so, but I t already talked about that we don't only have the volume control. What we also have is pitch control. So we could change the notes uh, or the octaves, which is the simplest thing to change. So I will explain how to change uh, the uh, pitch by octaves. So it's simply just changing like the speed the waveform runs. So we have here like 50% um, up and 50% down. So high and low, I will call it high and low. And here we have the same. It's like 50, 50, 50, 50. So it's, it's double timed. It's uh, twice as fast. What this does, if you play a uh, waveform twice as fast, it will just uh, play exactly one octave higher. And you can play it of course even faster or even faster or even faster this is the last possible setting because we only have uh, 32 digits and uh, yeah you can can't make it any faster but this is like how you would shift waveforms i will show you that so um, let's call this the base node it's the usual square wave and here it's like uh, everything is like cut up in half um, so this is one octave higher yeah. So we will play these all. Um, it's the this one. No, it's this one. Okay. So as you see here, I just typed in the note C three everywhere. So that would be the same if you if you uh, do this in uh, Open MPT, for example. And um, but what it will play is C3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because I uh, changed these waveforms. So this will play the first waveform, the, the bass note, and this will play one octave higher, two octave higher, three, and four octaves higher. This will play C7, and this will play C3. So listen to this. So what you uh, can do as well, of course, to prove it is like, 
I will uh, upper this to waveform 5, this to waveform 4, and now this should sound the same because this is one octave higher than the first one, but the first one is set one octave higher uh, in the note column, so these three should sound the same. Yeah, they do. And uh, so you have a note pitch control um, just through the instruments and not only through the node values. So usually this wouldn't be anything you want to do because it would just be a waste of instruments. But it's very, um, very, very important that I explain this to you bec before we come to the next step. So we learned about lowered volumes and we learned about how to change uh, the pitch. So what we can do with this information is layering waveforms together. So we can play more than one waveform at a time in channel 3. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to play more than two waveforms at a time because you can technically do it but it will uh, lower the volume every time you layer something on it because you can't do this at full volume and you will see why. So what you see here is the uh, square wave lowered uh, a little bit in volume and what you see here is uh, the square wave uh, three octaves higher wait no, two octaves higher, sorry um, also lowered in volume yeah, these two forms. So you can put this waveform on top of this waveform so that will play both at once and that will look like this so what I did here is I took this waveform it's four times up, four times down, four times up, four times down and so on uh, and I put it on this one so I go four times I go up and then I leave it as it is four times down and then four times up and then four times down and so on I will continue here four times up yeah, and four times down, four times up, four times down. So, so then it will, oops, yeah, then it will look like this. So I will show you how this sounds. This is 16, 17, 18, okay. Um, okay, so this is the square wave, lower volume square wave. And this is uh, like two octaves higher. So again, this will be the bass note. And this will be the note we add on top. And if we play these both together, it will sound like this. Show you some single things. Yeah, of course. Now the bass note is kind of high in volume, but the uh, the note on top is a little bit. Um, a little bit low in volume so we could change this of course because we learned how to change volumes so if we um, just do this here uh, one volume lower so if we would oops, uh, oops sorry if we would lower this oops, this way here like this so it's all B's and fours and then add this one on top um, it would look like this so that would be B and 4 and the added stuff on top this would be the same here on the, on the beginning and this would be two uh, digits higher I guess wait it's 1, 2, 3, 4 digits on top okay so this is 1, 2, 3, 4 yeah digits on top so now it will play the same as before but the bass note will be a little bit lower in volume and the thing layered on top will be a little bit higher in volume. So again the bass note, the note we want to layer and both at the same time. And I can hear much better I guess. So um, yeah so we have a layered waveform. I will uh, but I will put it like it was. I made this a lot of times, so uh, don't worry if you're not f quick with this. But it's just about getting the concept in your head. So, um, and you can of course do the same thing just with uh, other um, 
uh, so high octaves layered on top. So th if this would be two octaves higher, this three octaves higher, and this four octaves higher. So um, we will play this all after another. So I think that was no, it's here. So this is like uh, the bass, uh, two octaves higher, both together. Next one octave higher layered, one octave higher layered. So listen to this. So I will uh, do this, I will change the first two, so that it will repeat. So we will only hear the same bass note all the time, but the layered note will change. So listen to this. So this is exactly what I was talking about. You have two waveforms playing and even changing, but you only use one channel. So um, yeah, of course. You could do this um, oops, or with other waveforms as well. So this is a lowered in volume uh, sine wave or triangle wave. And I will, you can put everything on top, but it's always the easiest to explain with uh, square waves. So this would, uh, it would look like this if you put the square wave on top of this. So it's because I just uh, draw this waveform. And then I go up like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four times. Then I leave it as it is, and then I do the same one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. So we will get this waveform at the end. And uh, this will also work as like saw wave, for example. So it will look like this when it's layered. So basically you can layer everything on top of everything, but uh, it gets more and more confusing if you go into uh, more uh, complex waveforms, of course. So uh, be a bit careful, start with square waves because it's really the easiest thing to do and then uh, yeah, try around a bit. And yeah, I don't know if you can just put it, I can just write it down immediately, I don't have to. Uh, make make the the preview but i think it's hard at the beginning so don't worry about this too much um but i think something like a square wave or a saw wave is not hard to write down so it's like yeah as i told you 16 times f 16 times zero is a square or going from f to zero is a saw wave and if you wouldn't do f f e e d d c c b b a a nine nine eight eight seven seven and so on uh but instead you would do F, E, D, C, B, A, and so on till zero, and then start over again, you would have this all wave just one octave higher. <clears throat> so, yeah, what else can we do? Yeah, that's not everything. Um, what we also could do is uh, pretty easy to, to explain, I think. So at the very beginning, we talked about the four basic waveforms, so the 50%, 12.5%, 25%, though. But as you can see here, there are much more possibilities. So we can make a pulse uh, with modulation easily in Game Boy. And it would look like this. Just watch the waveform. So yeah, we can do this. I will, I will show you how this sounds. This would sound like this here. Uh, the problem is, okay, we only have, we have 16 settings. Oh, sorry. Um, and the other 16 that would be possible would be, would sound exactly the same, but because it's just inverted. So with 16 settings, you can have all possible uh, pulse waves, but uh, remember, we only have eight instruments, so you can't do this. Um, and that's one of the larger pro um, problems. You have to decide for eight instruments for your whole project, not for each song, uh, so for the whole game. And uh, yeah, you have to think about what you want to have. So usually what I do is like I put the 12.5% waveform and the 25% waveform and the 50% waveform in here. And um, 
I lower this a bit in volume so I can use it better together with um, uh, with channel 1 and 2. Then I want to have the triangle wave usually and the saw wave and uh, then I add something that I really want to use. So for example um, the like let's say a square so 50% ghost and 50% um, uh, ghost one octave higher for example yeah so let's say ghost one octave now let's say goes two octaves and goes three octaves and then I want to have usually like 50% uh, low volume things so I can make echoes or I have the same volume that I use for the ghost channel. So um, I will I will write the the instrument numbers here as well, so it's easier for you to understand. So I will write these now. So we have 12.5 percent. So as I told you, this is four times f, and the rest is zeros. Oh, I could maybe just do this. Let's see. Oh, oops. Yeah, I should uh, make this with with a. Uh, so like this. Sorry, it will take a little while. Ah, I'm stupid. Da -da -da -da. So okay. Um, so this is the twelve point five percent waveform. And uh, I'm, I want to have the 25% waveform as well, so I could just add uh, two, four more Fs, um, and the 50% is already here, so I can copy it. So like this. The triangle wave would be um, F, E, D, C, D, A, Nine eight seven six five four three two one zero and then uh, up again zero one two three four five six seven eight nine A B C D E F. Uh, what this will do at the end, it will of course totally um, uh, totally screw up your preview uh, in ModGBT. So yeah, that makes it a little bit tricky. So what we else wanted to have? So we wanted to have a load volume uh, square wave. So I think we should use um, B's and fours. So BB four times. Um, I can copy that. Don't have to write that much. No, 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 no. no that's not what I wanted to do. Stop it. Okay, like this, and uh, the rest will be force. Is so, that even? Is it even a word? It might be. So, oh, x44. So, okay, so we have this. Um, and now what I'm missing is uh, the ghost channel thing. I will just copy these. Uh, and when I wanted, what I wanted to do is add um, uh, two octaves higher, so it will be like this and here it will be well, C D E F. It's four, four digits higher, so it's eighty-eight here. So and if we want it uh, uh, even one octave higher, we should just do F F and then leave it down. F F and then leave it down. F F and then down. F F and then down. 88, nothing, 88, nothing, 88, nothing, 
ADN, nothing. So now we have all the waveforms that I talked about. So we have the 12.5, 2550, all in full volume at the moment. Uh, the triangle wave, the saw wave, the ghost wave, uh, so, so two octaves higher uh, and three octaves higher and uh, one in low volume, so it's, it matches the volume of the ghost um, channel uh, bass note. So this is now stored, I will close it, and of course this is also now stored in here, because I opened this here, yeah, it has stored, okay, cool. So it's in our project now. So um, if I uh, if I use OpenMPT, uh, I had just prepared a waveform test, so it will just play all the waveforms from 8 to 15 at full volume. Um, so I already prepared this and put this in the GB Studio uh, <coughs> project, so it's here. So um, I will just export it, and uh, yeah, we will see if everything worked fine. So here it is. So this was the original waveforms. I exported it before. So before we did the engine eject changes, uh, it sounds like this. So this was all the eight waveforms. And now these are the new waveforms. So 12.5, 25, 50, tri triangular, saw, or the other way around, I don't know. Uh, ghost, ghost, and low volume square. Yeah, it worked. So this is how you change the waveforms. This is how you control volume, control the pitch, layer the waveforms and do pull through modulation. Just you have to decide which eight instruments you want to use in the end for the whole project. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any uh, questions, just drop them in the comments. If you want a basic tutorial, uh, yeah, just uh, tell me that. You can also ask me on uh, GB Studio, uh, Discord, in the music section, or uh, just write me a message anywhere you want. And uh, yeah, I will just uh, put everything you need in the description. So bye-bye, see you soon.